Before my experience on America's Next Top Model, I had very, very little modeling experience. I was pounding the pavement for two years uh, working with a non-exclusive agency. But it <laughs> sort of gave me uh, the experience I needed to go and audition for bigger things like America's Next Top Model. I was surprised to find that, you know, the the show is is really... It's a lot more real than I thought it would be. It's sort of like you have the choice when you're in that situation to either play a role or to be yourself. And a lot of people, I think, feel the pressure when the cameras come on to sort of put on something. Even I do sometimes. Like, I have what I like to call um, comedy anxiety. And it's where, like, I feel like I need to be funny, so I'll, like, overdo it. And I'll, like, overact. And... Sometimes, you know, that comes out on the show and I'm like, ugh, you know, I'm not really like that. There is definitely, there's definitely a lot of drama on this cycle of America's Next Top Model, I'm sure. I don't need to say it. Y'all can see it. Uh, and I tried my hardest to stay out of it. In the next coming episode, there is, there is some heat that I wish I could have avoided, but, you know, there, there were times where I was sort of like hit on in the top model house and sort of like passes were made um but yeah I, I would never out anybody like that that's not my business at all <laughs> it's not anyone's if they don't want to share it when they first were introduced to me on the show they thought that I was a professional drag queen and that's like how I made my way and made my pay but that is not true I actually do drag recreationally a lot of people tell me oh are you going to go all out for RuPaul's Drag Race next is that your next endeavor um no not really because to me that would defeat the purpose of you know my drag being my drag and like my free self-expression and sort of like my sacred guru place for me the hardest challenges were the challenges where I was sort of required to appear more masculine definitely that was what took me out of my comfort zone and a lot of what was in my comfort zone was out of everybody else's. Uh, so for me, that was definitely the hardest part. Male femininity is masked in the entertainment industry, and I'm not quite sure why, and I'm not happy about it, but if I can make some small effect on that and some small movement towards the change that needs to take place, then I'm so happy to be a part of it. Okay.